हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन दिस इज जनरल मैथमेटिक्स एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट थ्री दिस नोट्स हैज बीन ऑलरेडी गिवेन इट टू यू ओके आई होप यू हैव रिटर्न देम इन योर मैथ्स कॉपी सो दिस इज एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स फर्स्ट इज एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल्स टू फोर ओके सो आई हैव टू ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल राइट एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर सो आई कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन इन दिस वे ऑल्सो एक्स इफ आई सेंट इट डेट साइड आई विल गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस एक्स नाउ आई विल ड्रॉ ए टेबल इन दिस वे ओके आई विल ड्रॉ ए टेबल इन दिस वे आई विल राइट एक्स एंड वाई ओके आई विल गिव ए वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन दिस इक्वेशन आई विल गिव ए वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड आई विल फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सो इफ आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल I have uh, I have cho uh, chosen by myself to give the value of x as zero. Okay, so if I give uh, x value, if I put zero here, y value I will get four. If I put one here, y value I will get three. If I put two here, y value I will get two. If I put three here, y value I will get one. And if I put four here, y value I will get zero. Understand? Now with the help of a scale. I will draw this x axis and y axis. Okay, this is x. This is o. Okay, this is the origin. This is o. Understand? This is x, uh, o, x dash, and this is y, o, y dash. Okay. So now, uh, with the help of a scale, one centimeter, one centimeter, like that, you can take one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Okay, like that x-axis and y-axis. You can draw it in your copy, and you see uh, this is the equation, and these are its solutions. Yes or no? These are zero, four, one, three, two, two, three, one, four, zero. These are what? These are solutions of these equations. Understand? So therefore, first of all, uh, first solution is zero, four. Yes. X zero y four, so x zero y four. This will be the point. Okay. Next it is one three. This will be the point. Two two. This will be the point. Three one. This will be the point point. And four zero. This will be the point. So these points, with the help of a scale, you join them. Okay. You draw a line so that this line passes through these points. Okay. So you write the. Um, Coordinates, okay. You write the coordinates of the points, and then you write the equation. X plus y is equals to four. Understand? So, you know, this is the this is the equation of this line. Understand? X plus y is equals to four. Okay. And similarly, you can draw the second graph, which is your. This is the equation. X minus y is equals to two. So this one you can write it as y. If you send that side, you will get minus y is equals to two minus x. So y is equals to x minus two. You will get okay. So like that, you draw the uh, box. Understand? In here, this one my extra becoming. If you if you want, you can give an another coordinate here. And if you don't want, then no need to draw. Okay, this this no need to draw. So first of all, x value zero. Then y value you will get two. Okay, x value zero. If you give y value, you will get two. X value one. If you give y value, you will get minus one. Two. If you give zero. Three. If you give one. Four. If you give, then you will get two. Understand? So similarly, you will draw this graph. Okay. Understand? X axis and y axis. Okay. Your equation is this one. X minus y is equals to two. Or you can consider it like that also. Same only. They are both same equation. X y is equals to x minus two. This is your equation. Understand? So. Um, This is the straight line that represents this equation x minus y is equals to two. Understand? This is the equation of this straight line. Okay. So similarly, these points are you located. Understand? And with the help of a with the help of a scale, you draw a line such that this line passes through these points. Okay. And we'll remember one thing: all of these points. Understand? All of these points. In here, anywhere on this line, anywhere, okay. If you give a point and you uh, locate its coordinate, okay. If you give a point and locate this coordinate, that point it will be a solution of these equations. Understand? 
so this way also you can see that a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions because it is a line yes a line extends indefinitely in both directions yes or no it does not have any uh, specific length understand so it is a line so a line consists how many points a line consists a line consists of infinitely many points and all these points understand all these points on this line okay all of those points they will be the solution of these equations understand and as we know that on a straight line there are infinitely many points so therefore i can say that there are infinite number of solution of uh, this equation okay and similarly the next graph i have drawn y is equal to 3x okay like that you draw the box okay 0 0 if you x value if you give 0 y value if you will get 0 1 give the 3 get 2 give then 6 get 3 give then 9 get minus 1 give then minus 3 get so like that you draw the graph again okay you pour, you plot the points okay and you join them with a straight line understand last equation i have not done that is your homework okay you try to do by yourself next it is your question number two give the equation of two lines passing through 2 comma 14 how many more such lines are there and why okay give the equations of two lines passing through um, 2 comma 14 how many more such lines are there and why so like that also you can see that 2 plus 14 you will get 16 okay so instead of 2 and 14 you write x plus y is equals to 16 understand and next you can write 2x plus y is equals to 18 okay you can make this by yourself okay uh, you see in here 2x plus y okay you can make these equations by yourself but one thing you will have to make sure that uh, x and y value okay x and y value will be 2 and 14 if you put x and y value for example in this equation x value if you put 2 here you will get 4 plus y value you will get if you give uh, 14 here uh, in this one you see 2 into 2 4 you will get understand and y 14 4 plus 14 you will get 18 understand so you will have to make the equation in such a way that left hand side if you x and y value will be these two okay x and y value will be these two understand so in the left hand side if you put x and y value these you should get the right hand side understand so like that how many more such lines are there there are infinite number of lines okay infinite number of lines passes through uh, we already know that through one single point how many lines can pass infinite number of lines can pass understand so through this point how many lines can pass infinite number of lines can pass understand infinite number of line passes through this because infinite numbers of lines passes through a given point okay so next one it is uh, this is your number four or number four i have done it in here okay i think i have given it to you so this will be the uh, graph of the equation okay number four this is okay this is not number nine i have given this will be number four okay number four this is type one number four okay so next again you see question number three okay question number three if the point this lie on the graph of the equation this find the value of a so these points lie these points lie on the graph of the equation okay that means this equation okay this equation it will give me a straight line yes this equation will give me a straight line and on that line this point lie that means what this point is a solution of this equation yes this point it is a solution of this equation so therefore x and y value if i put it in here i can get the value of a so since 3 comma 4 lies on the graph of the equation this one okay that means this equation if i uh, plot this equation on a graph i will get a straight line understand so uh, 3y is equal to ax plus 7 you put this values of x and y in this equation so 3 3 into 4 is equal to a into 3 plus 7 from there y value you take out understand solve this equation and y value you take out 
Next you see question number four. The taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer, the fare is rupees eight, and for the subsequent distance, it is rupees five per kilometer. Taking the distance covered as x kilometer and total fare as rupees y, write a linear equation for this information and the, draw its graph. So first of all, after reading this question, you will have to try to understand. Okay, what is going on? You see the taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer, the fare is rupees eight, and for the subsequent distance, it is rupees five per kilometer. For the first kilometer, he will take rupees eight, and again, if you go more distance, if you travel, your rate will be rupees five per kilometer. So, taking the distance covered as x, and total fare is rupees y, write the linear equation for this information and draw its graph. So, this one you see. So now in here you see given, okay, given fare for the first one kilometer, it is rupees eight. Fare after the first one kilometer, it is rupees five per kilometer. Total distance covered, it is x kilometer and total fare, it is rupees y, okay. So now distance covered after first one kilometer, one kilometer gone, understand? And after that some kilometer going but total kilometer travel it is x okay so how many distance covered after the first one kilometer it will be x minus one kilometer total fare after first one kilometer for the first one kilometer your fare is rupees eight understand and fare after first one kilometer it is rupees five per kilometer so therefore total fare after first one kilometer it is rupees five into x minus one okay it is rupees five into x minus one so by question eight plus five into x minus one it is equals to y so if you solve it a little bit you will get three plus five x equals to y okay so this is your linear equation in two variables okay this is your linear equation in two variables so next saying that draw the graph okay draw the graph so first of all i will make a table like this x value 0 i will get y value 3 i will get x value 1 y value 8 x value minus 1 y value minus 2 x value minus 2 y value minus 7 i will get okay and then this is the graph i will get okay this is the graph i will get understand you plot these points and you draw a straight line that will pass through these points and then you write the equation okay next you see question number five from the choices given below choose the equation whose graph are in figure okay so this is your question number uh, in question number three there are uh, some more questions are there okay in question number three there are more questions are there you see in my book it is not there now uh, this is you see, question number three number two so these are very easy questions if the point lies on the graph of the equation find the value of p this point lies on the graph of this equation that means what this point is a solution of this equation so this is the value of x this is the value of y you put it in here and then you p value find out very easy there next again if the graph of the equation passes through this point that means what this graph of this equation passes through the point that means this point is a solution of this equation these are values of x and y you put it in here and a value you find out okay next again question number four you see Question number four, if the point lies on the graph of the equation, then find the value of k. Lies on the graph of the equation, that means this point, that means this line, okay, if you, this equation, if you plot it on a graph, you already know you will get a straight line, you will get a straight line. And this line, this point lies on that line. That means what? this point is a solution of this equation. So this is the value of x and this is the value of y. You put it in here and k value find out. Okay. 
Now examine whether the point lies on the graph of the equation. I have to examine here. So no problem. I will take LHS. I will write this one. There you put the values of X and Y here. If you get equal to RHS, if you get equal to RHS, that means this point lies on the graph of the equation. Okay. Next again, question number six. Check whether the point lies on the graph of the equation 4x plus 7y is equals to 9. So I will take LHS. This is equal to 4x plus 7y. There you put the values of x and y here. Is equals to 2 I will get which is not equals to RHS. So therefore this point does not lie on the graph of the equation. Okay. And last write the condition under which the graph of AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0 passes through origin okay so what is the condition that this uh, the graph of this equation passes through the origin Understood? so first of all i will take let ax plus by plus c equal to zero pass through the origin understand let this one uh, means ax plus by plus c is equal to zero this is a linear equation two variable and if i plot uh, the graph of this equation I will get a straight line so therefore I have taken let this pass through the origin okay so x and y value 0 I will get okay so I will put the value of x and y here I will get that c is equal to 0 that means c should be 0 okay value of c should be 0 then only this uh, line it will pass through the origin okay so Next it is question number 5 it was there. So question number 5. So question number 5 in here you see. From the choices given below choose the equation whose graph are given in figure. So first of all you see this is figure 4.6. This is a graph. Now I will have to see. Uh, this is a graph of which equation okay from these 1 2 3 4 5 this is the next next diagram okay this is your figure first 4.6 so in here some equations are given you have to see that uh, this graph okay uh, of which equation is this graph okay so first it is y is equal to x there first equation is y is equal to x now in here you see these are the points okay minus 1 comma 1 so first of all you take this equation okay these are the value of x and y you put it in here and see whether it satisfies or not understand these points satisfies or not. so first equation you see y is equal to x there now this is minus 1 1 there understand x value minus 1 y value 1 there so they are not equal minus 1 1 they are not equal so therefore y equal to x this this is not the equation next x plus y is equal to 0 so you see if x value minus 1 uh, x value minus 1 give and y value 1 give then minus 1 plus 1 0 i will get yes it satisfies again this one you see 0 plus 0 0 i will get it satisfies and this one also 1 comma minus 1 this one if you give it satisfies that means this is the equation okay this is the graph of this equation next again figure so like that again uh, for figure 4.7 you see okay take a equation and put the values of x and y here now you see whether it satisfies or not okay in here you can take rhs you can take x plus 2 uh, x value what there this is minus 1 there okay x value minus 1 there if you put minus 1 here minus 1 plus 2 how much you will get 1 you will get y equals to 1 y equals to what there 3 there so this equation it does not satisfy okay so like that you can do by yourself okay notes i have already given you can do by yourself next you see question number six question number six it is saying if the work done by body on application of a constant force is directly proportional to the distance traveled by the body express this in the form of an equation in two variables and draw the graph of the same by taking the constant force as five units also read the graph the work done when the distance traveled by the body is 2 units and 0 unit so this one you see so first of all what i have taken 
let the work done by the body be x okay and let the distance traveled by the body be y understand so x is proportional to y this is proportional symbol okay x is proportional to y so therefore this one i can write as x is equal to ky this one you have learned in class 8 x is equals to ky where k is the constant force and k value the constant how much it is given constant force is 5 units taking constant force is 5 units so therefore k value 5 given okay so x is equals to 5y so this one i can write as x minus 5y is equal to 0 so this is the equation i got okay so according to the equation you plot the graph okay you plot the graph of this equation so uh, this is the graph you will get understand and this straight line represents this equation x minus 5y is equal to 0 okay and next you see when the distance travel by the body is 2 units distance travel what you have taken distance travel you have taken y yes or no so therefore y axis gives you the distance travel so if the distance travel by the body is 2 units so 2 units going understand two units if going then work done how much two units going then work done it is how much you see work done 10 understand if y axis to two units going then work done x axis to how much going work done 10 understand so work done is equal to 10 and then when the distance traveled by the body is zero unit if zero unit that means here then uh, x axis to how much going zero going zero going understand according to this equation means understand according to this equation x minus 5 by is equal to 0 okay according to this equation okay next again you see question number 7 question number 7 here Yamini and uh, Fatima, two students of class 9 of a school, together contributed this much towards the Prime Minister's relief fund to help the earthquake victims. Write a linear equation which satisfies this data. Draw the graph of the same. Okay. So, therefore, both of them contributed rupees 100. First of all, I will take, let the contribution of Yamini be rupees x and let the contribution of Fatima be rupees y. So by question x plus y is equal to 100. So this is the equation in two variable I got. Okay, so this is the data I will entry. Okay, and this is the graph that I will get. Okay, this is the graph that I will get. In here you see scale I have given 1 centimeter 10 units. Okay, 1 centimeter 10 units like that I will go. Understand because it is 100 there. Understand because if um, 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter like that I will take then this graph will become very big okay in here my space not there so therefore one centimeter 10 units i have taken okay so this is the graph okay and then the last is in countries like usa and canada temperature is measured in fahrenheit whereas in countries like india it is measured in celsius here is a linear equation that converts fahrenheit to celsius this is the equation okay draw the graph of the linear equation above using celsius for x-axis and fahrenheit for y-axis okay so in here uh, c value you get 0 fahrenheit 32 you will get minus 10 you will get 14 you will get minus 15 you get 5 you will get uh, 5 you will get understand c value okay so then you plot the graph so this will be your graph understand uh, x-axis i have um, x axis represents degree celsius and y axis represents degree fahrenheit okay this is the graph of this equation and uh, next you see next i'm saying that if the temperature is 30 degrees celsius what is the temperature in fahrenheit okay so f is equal to in that equation c value given 30 degrees celsius you put it in here understand in here no need to write anything okay 30 degree no need to write just you put the value so f is equals to how much you will get 86 degree fahrenheit okay and if the temperature is 95 degree fahrenheit what is the temperature in celsius fahrenheit given f value given so this one equation here solve it c value take out it will be 35 degrees celsius next again you see if the temperature is 0 degree celsius what is the temperature in fahrenheit and if the temperature is 0 degree fahrenheit 
what is the temperature in Celsius? So first of all, if C value if I put 0, then F value I will get 32 degree Fahrenheit. And if F value I will give 0, then C value I will get, uh, this one I will get minus 17.777. You round uh, this value, I will round off, so I will get minus 17.8 degree Celsius. Okay. And then the next one it is, is there a temperature which is numerically the same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius? So if yes, find it. Okay. So therefore, answer is yes. Okay. There is a temperature. So therefore, to find the temperature, what I will do? F is equal to C is equal to X, I will say. Okay. When F is equal to C is equal to X, C. So in place of F, F I will put X and in place of C also I will put X. So this is an equation I will get. This equation one you solve it and x value you take out okay x value you take out this is minus 40 don't write anything in here just minus 40 okay so hence minus 40 degree both in fahrenheit and celsius is the temperature which is numerically the same in both fahrenheit and celsius okay i hope you have understood everything so one thing one thing remember that a linear equation in two variables, okay, a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions, okay, a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions, and a linear equation in two variables, you can plot it on a graph, okay, you can represent a linear equation in two variables on a graph, and when you will represent a linear equation in two variables on a graph, you will get a straight line, okay, that straight line represents that particular equation and on that line all the points that you will plot okay all the points the coordinates of all those points are solution of that equation understand solution of this equation whose graph you are plotting okay and as we know that on a straight line there are infinite number of points on a straight line there are infinite number of points okay so i can say that there are infinite um, um, on, a, on a straight line I know that there are infinite number of points okay and all of this all of those points are solution of that equation okay all of those points are solution of that equation so as uh, we know that there are infinite number of points on a straight line so therefore we can say that there are infinite number of solutions of a linear equation in two variables okay i hope you have understood everything uh, next uh, we will start a new chapter okay we will go to lesson number six lesson number uh, five it is there but lesson number five we will do a little bit later first of all we will go to lesson number six because lesson number six is it is important chapter okay so if you have got any doubt you can write it in the comment section i hope you have understood thank you